Now we have the latest on the battle for insurance reform. This morning, mixed signals are coming out of the White House about the future of the public health insurance option. The question is, will President Obama bargain away one of his key goals in order to get Democrats united? ABC senior White House correspondent Jake Tapper has the latest for us. He's in the Capitol this morning. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, Chris. Well, that's right. President Obama speaks to the veterans of foreign wars today in Phoenix, but his allies in Washington are trying to ascertain just how much the Obama administration has raised the white flag of surrender on certain key controversial provisions in this health care reform bill in order to get it through Congress. You got a pretty good view of the river right While here. President Obama did the tourist thing with his family at the Grand Canyon, pretty nice, pretty nice. Cool. members of his administration were addressing the chasm between what they want in health care reform and what they can get passed. Facing false charges of a death panel rationing life-saving care and killing off seniors, the Obama administration says the end-of-life care provisions in the bill may be dead. Critics say they're uneasy about end-of-life care measures being discussed within the context of cost-cutting. Can you understand that discomfort? We wanted to make sure uh, doctors were uh, reimbursed for that very important consultation if family members chose to make it, and instead it's been turned into this scare tactic uh, and probably will be off the table. This even though the president that. made a personal pitch like about the issue. I just lost my grandmother last year. The notion that somehow I ran for public office or members of Congress are in this so that they can go around pulling the plug on grandma? When you start making arguments like that, that's simply dishonest. But it was the president himself who seemed to signal he was willing to fold on the push for a government-run public plan to compete with private insurers to bring down costs. The public option, whether we have it or we don't have it, is not the entirety of health care reform. This is just one sliver of it. This will be a delicate dance for the president, but dropping these provisions might be the only way to get the bill passed. There are not the votes in the United States Senate for the public option. There never have been. Though House liberals argue killing off the public option will hurt attempts to cover the millions of uninsured. It would be very, very difficult uh, because Without the public option, we'll have the same number of people uninsured. Now, Chris, one option that's gaining steam in Washington is that of co-ops. These would be nonprofit, but they would not be run by the government. They would be run by members. But some people say they are not nearly as effective as public plans. Chris? And a lot of debate left to be had. Jake, thank you very much this morning. Appreciate it.